So I've got here in my hands a classic Canon EOS M camera that is still pretty much good with video and photo taking abilities. Hey, what is up guys? My name is Paul and today we'll be talking about how you can actually take videos and photos on a budget by using this simple camera. So as of this recording, you can actually buy a very cheap Canon EOS M3 on eBay at around 260 Australian dollars, rather than buy the Canon M50 at around $650 and more. So let's look at the specs right here. So the Canon EOS M3 is a 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS mirrorless camera with a Digix 6 image processor. It also has a 1.04 dot flip up LCD screen, which you can actually use for self portraits and also for video vlogging. It has an ISO of 100 to 12,800, expandable to 25,600 as well. Now it shoots at a 1080p at 24, 25 and 30 frames a second and also at 720p at 50 and 60 frames per second. As for the build, it's pretty light if you ask me. There's a lot of good texture on it as well and the grip is actually pretty good. Now on the top, it has your on and off button which I find a little bit awkward as the buttons are just too small and flat for my fingers but you know, you kind of get used to it in time. So it also has a pop-up flash, a hot shoe mount for any extra added accessories, an exposure compensation dial, mode dials, and also another dial just around the shutter button. Now at the back, you also have your record button there, which I would wish would be easier to press or at least be reprogrammed to the shutter button with a long press instead. You also have your playback button and also another dial that acts as a four-way directional button as well as your manual focus, flash on or off, ISO and aperture control and the delete button on the very bottom as well. Now it also has its own onboard mic but on the sides you also have a mic jack as well on the other side, a micro HDMI port as well for HDMI connection. Now, what are the cons of owning this camera? Well, first off, since it's an APS-C camera, it has that 1.69 crop factor, meaning it crops around 1.69% on a full frame shot. But you can always purchase a speed booster to eliminate the problem. Second, since it's an old camera, you do not have any dual pixel autofocus, nor does it have an eye autofocus as well. And it sometimes does focus hunting on your shots and loses you from time to time. Now, third is the location of that hot shoe mount as attaching, say, a mic or any more accessories that would interfere with your flip up screen. Now, since the flip up screen actually flips up, having that hot shoe mount on the center will just impede in the screen actually flipping up and you seeing yourself while you're recording. Now finally is the use of Canon's EFM lenses because unfortunately there's not a lot of lenses on Canon's EFM line. Now what you can do though is that if you have an old DSLR camera at least you can get those old EF lenses and attach it to your Canon EOS M3 by using either a Canon EF to EFM adapter, or better yet, buy a speed booster to just eliminate the crop factor as well. Now here are samples of videos and photos that I recently shot with the Canon EOS M3. In my personal opinion, 4K is not much of an issue for YouTube uploading as people usually watch it on their phones anyway. and. There's not much of a difference if you watch it on your phone unless you are really pixel peeping. So I also emulated C-Log3 on this camera, but since it only shoots 8-bit, your color grading will be limited. Now here are some samples of what I color graded with C-Log3 in LumaFusion.
even with a lot of new cameras out throughout the years until 2021, are you still keen on buying one of these budget cameras? Or would you rather upgrade yourself to around the 650 to 800 mark for a starter off camera? Personally, if you ask me, this camera is actually still pretty good in 2021. But I wanna hear your opinions. Anyways guys, thank you very much for listening. If you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon for any more future notifications. Until then, I'll see you all on the next vid.